Hello there and welcome to one of our topical little debates where we decide to test our co-host sat with me, James, um, with another controversial thought slash debate. Um, it's my turn, so now I'm going to post my question to James, which is, are we witnessing the downfall of Mercedes Monet? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck uh, yeah, I didn't say long yeah. answer. <laughs> yeah, so I've got no qualms at all about, like, we are witnessing it. Yeah. It's really contextually why. Uh, and I'm going to place it at her own doorstep. Yeah, see, it, my my thoughts are this, and, I, and, I, and I've been very open about this before on previous episodes. I am not a fan of, um, as she was known back then, Sasha Banks. Just kind of thought the whole gimmick, whether she was a heel or a face, just came out too egotistical and you know, far too up her own ass, and I think even more so after that episode on, on Stone Cold's podcast. Yeah, that's where it changed for me. Yeah. Uh, so, I actually really liked her, and I do I do think she's okay in the ring. I do, honestly. Uh, I don't think she's bad. Uh, I think she's extremely arrogant, and I think that that interview done her so much damage. Yeah, big time. Uh, she was going on about things like I'm going to be my own brand uh, I'm going to beat the owner of the WWF personally I didn't see it as ambition I saw it as mm. like real arrogance and I could see how she would not be getting on backstage with people that's an assumption by me but I think I'm pretty much on the money absolutely yeah I mean there's been I know there's been a lot of controversy surrounding her with you know um, appearances that she's made and this, that and the other and then obviously going over to Japan and you know her whole debut over there it was an amazing build up you know it, it was it was on a grand grand scale and it fucking bombed do you know all I can remember about it is she one of the other the fucking move no it's only I... one thing she had to fucking do no all I can remember is uh, someone and it, it might not have even been the debut it was, pro- it was probably just her tour of Japan Someone playing a little like ukulele. Oh, that's all. Like that is my only yeah. remembrance I of yeah, her. Yeah, I can't remember the exact part of it. Oh, the exact ins and outs. And it, it was awful. Know, yeah, yeah, it was. And then we've got to go on to because uh, we'd be there all in. Oh my god! Right, so that match, I've Britt got, Baker and Mercedes Monet. I felt so sorry for Britt Baker. I just I wasn't interested. And I tell you what I feel sorry for, and you know I'm going to say, mm-hmm. I feel sorry for Tony Storm and Mariah May, oh, because yep. the build-up for that was amazing, mm. and that should have gone on, I believe it was, was it semi-main, or was it... It, it was kind of, yeah. It, so was, it was near the end. Monet Baker match was kind of like semi-main event. It was main It, it was main event of the I, women, it wasn't it? It was a it? fucking snore fest. I can tell you this, and I haven't got much against her, except for I think that she's arrogant, Everyone was either on their phone or had gone out for a piss break. She's, me personally, I find she's got no relatability with people. Uh, she doesn't have a connection with fans. When she's cutting these promos, and again, me personally, face or heel, she's got no appeal about her. Everything to me just screams false, and I think it's worse now than it ever was. Do you think it's actually more scary that the person who is either Sasha Banks or Mercedes Monet is really her? Yeah. Because I think that's what I, it is. I, I, I think that's what I it is. I genuinely think that this is, you know, performance replicating real life. Uh, I don't find that there is, there's a line between the two for her. No. I think the two are one. I think that arrogant hill is truly her. Yeah. I haven't really got anything I could say, me personally, that could save this. I think the only way, and I know that there's certain people within our audience that always hate me for saying this, I think the only way that she could possibly save it 
is to come back to WWE as Sasha Banks. But would she do that? I don't know. I, I think she'd hold out <laughs> for far too much money. Yeah. Far too much money, far too much ego. And unfortunately, I don't want to quote Top Gun, but unfortunately, I think her ass is writing cash, cash that she can't bank. <laughs> See what I did there? Yep. <laughs> but no, I think she's fucked it big time. I just think the whole thing doesn't work like the CEO oh, continuously and all what that. It's just, not, of shit. it's just not good. Uh, which is a shame because there's a huge talent there. Uh, but I, I think, think there's a lot there of arrogance. Yeah, you see. <laughs> but she that's it. shit at promos. <laughs> and she botches all the fucking time. Mm. You are meant to be... If, if you want to fucking charge people hard-earned money to come and see you at Comic-Cons and fucking wrestling conventions and to come and see you perform live in a wrestling ring, fucking work for it. Yeah, I think... For the money you're on, put the fucking effort in I think that is where my annoyance comes in with her I think when I watched those things like her answering fans back really like sassy and like but it, it was actually her it was across dickish yeah, yeah it was actually her. yeah that's not a character no no it was actually her and it was it was not good it it, it people don't like this who are in the business but fans know Fans know. Yeah, they're not fucking stupid. Yeah. And the bottom line is, fans know that you're a dick and they will gravitate away from you. Yeah. They will not support you. Uh, it's, yeah, to finish on what you said as well, I mean, bottom line is, if it weren't for the fucking fans, you wouldn't have a fan base. No. And at the moment, hers is fucking rapidly declining. I think so. We'll have to say. Yeah. Let us know what you think in the comment sections. Uh, don't forget, like and subscribe. Hit that button bell for any alerts go and check out any of our other social media pages go and check out our brand new website and go and check out our merch at t-mill brilliant okay thank you and thank you